How to use stencils in a rebel. Now this is a very basic guide, there's a lot of other features you can do with stencils. Just going through a few of them. Now first thing to do is the actual stencils panel there. You can find that in the Windows menu. Once you've actually got that, what you can do, obviously I'm just applying some brushes there, just applying a quick brush, that's without the stencil. Now if you add the stencil, what happens basically, it just, it's a mask, it basically stops. You can see a whole range of uh, stencils there that uh, you may or may not have depending on your system. What it does, it means it limits the area the brush stroke will go to. So basically you can, there you've got the, you can actually size it, scale it, you can move it just by using that one. Click there, just drag it over. You can also rotate it so you can turn it around if you want. And there's a little sub menu there. You can do various things like invert. Oh, invert it, invert it back again if you want, want that. You can also flip it. But the key thing is you just can't basically draw over the other area that's passed. So, now, there's a border feature. That's quite useful because the border feature means you can extend beyond the actual stencil and it just limits it so it doesn't sort of go off. So you can just see there, I'm just applying it and you can see the area of the white that you can actually apply to. The area that's currently displays orange, you can't. And I'm just gonna get rid of the border there. So border there. And then say, so I just go there, you can see, now without the border option, you can just paint over it, go further on. So it's, I think, a nicer feature, just putting the border on. Now, there's also a tile feature, and the tile feature is really good for creating patterns, basically. You've got this design, it's a, it's a pattern design, you can rotate it again, scale it, etc. But you can then apply it with a brush, you can just go over there, you can see, just goes the area that you can fill, the orange area, you, won't, you can't actually apply to. You can also show and hide it, so you can just remove it very quickly. But it's not removed, it's still there, so you can bring it back and then manipulate it. You can remove at the bottom of that thing you see there. There's also an option for lock and lock the actual ratio. So you can actually lock the ratio so it's equal to what it when it was created. The lock feature is really quite useful because when something's on your brush, suddenly it suddenly decides to start moving. So the lock feature is really good for locking it. Now at this point there's no mask stencil, you can actually draw apply the brush stroke as normal. Now, I've obviously got the stencil there, and you can then see this arrow design. This is one of the graphic extras website to designs. You can just quickly apply, and then you can obviously remove that, and you've got the design there, and it's just applied as normal. Now, a whole range of different stencils are available, and you can remove the stencils, all those sorts of things. There's options for that as well. And there's also, on the right side of the actual stencil, there's a way of creating the stencils from image files, from layers, layer, image, as well as selections. There's also add group and remove group. So you can sort of group all the stencils together. Now, create stencil from an actual image file. Now, these are image files. You can find these on the Graphic Extras website, graphicextras.com. A whole load of uh, designs that you can just use. Quick stencils, you can see that one. I've already actually added that earlier. You just select one of those files and you can see the design there and another stencil there so you just select any of those and of course you can use your own PNG files and maybe other formats that you want to use I'm not so much for I always use PNG I'm certain there's other formats it can use and then once you've got that design actually stored there you can just quickly apply it and all it is is basically just a standard file with some transparency basically black image and with transparent background and then just apply it like that. Or maybe just white as well, it doesn't particularly matter. But now this one creates stencil from the actual alpha channel, which is quite nice. It actually creates a very quick, uh, obviously if you've got the design there already, not maybe so great, but you can, if you actually zoom, you can actually scale it, you can rotate that and then apply the brush stroke again, maybe to a slightly different area. So you can make a duplicate copy, maybe change the color of the brush stroke, apply it that way whole range of different things. There's also another option, I'm just going to remove that stencil, so you can just see again, you've applied the brush again there. There's also from the layer, I must admit, that one, the results are never particularly great, it always ends up with a sometimes good, sometimes not, in this case not very good. Personally I never use it, I always use the alpha one or the other one, so, right. And also create stencil from selection, and that's pretty useful as well, because you can actually create some nice selections very easy. There's no great tools for selection features, but there's a little selection there in the tools. You can just select that rectangle and you can maybe create a 
you can see there's a free hand, there's a ellipse, etc. You can use that and you can just drag that, press return, and you've got your selection. What you can also do, you can add to the selection. So you can, you know, you've got polygon, you've got freehand, and you've got obviously the magic wand. Right, and just quickly draw it, and you can see the selection. You can add, intersect, etc. Usual sort of things. Once you've actually got that, you can deselect, select all. But right, go to there, stencils again, and you can see then you've got the actual set. Selection is still active, so you might want to remove selection. You've got selection there. When you draw in the section, it will obviously just draw control into that area. So you can just see then, just apply it there, you can just go over. Now, you can do all the usual things that you can do in Rebel. You can actually go to wet them and it will spread out, etc. But it won't spread out while you've got the mask. It's, that's just locked in that area. As soon as you remove it, obviously. Now, of course, not all the stencils have to be solid black. They can be a mix of grayscale. So if you've got a grayscale, it will spread out if you've got that sort of thing. So in this case, you've got an example with just black. And of course, you can uh, wet that layer. And you can see it's spread out. Remove the mask then it will just spread out as normal and over time. Sometimes it'll do it quicker than others, depending on how you've wet the thing, what absorbency, all that sort of stuff. So you can just see it will just spread out very lightly in, in this case. And just remove that and you can just see it just starts to get a bit rougher, very, but uh, and obviously if you start, you can now just apply brushes normal. Just go over it and do the usual things. You can do it in Rebel. Anyway, I hope this has whetted your appetite for stencils. Really great feature and very useful and very easy to use in Rebel. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.